Welcome to my kitchen. This is such a great recipe. Has lots of flavor, not a lot of ingredients, and you can use it to make other things. It's called corn and kale salad. I'm going to start off and get the oil in the pan, get that heated up. And the pan should be medium high. The onions in there. And then we're going to use fresh corn. So we'll cut the corn off the cob. And we're going to give the onions a stir and get the corn in. Your onions should be on their way to getting nice and soft. And we're going to get the corn in the pan. Get it mixed in with the onions. And we'll salt and pepper the corn and onions. And just a little shake of smoked paprika. that all mixed in and the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to start to cut up the kale And we're just going to get that chopped up. So what I do is I cut the kale into strips. And then I go back and cut the, cut the strips into smaller pieces. Now this part does take a while, which is nice because this is where your corn is going to start to cook and it's going to get rid of that raw flavor in the corn. But once we get all the kale cut up, we're going to do something that's called, it's called massaging the kale. And what it does is it gets rid of that hard scratchy rawness to the kale it makes it soft it makes it like it's almost been cooked let's finish cutting up the kale and then i'll explain that to you Make sure you're keeping an eye on your corn, too. And the corn's not going to be super soft, either. You still want a little texture to it. Give it a stir.
tail cut up. The kale seems to take longer than anything in this recipe. That in the bowl. And this is where we're going to massage the kale. This is where the lemon comes in. You just need about half of it. Just squeeze the juice over it. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. the lemon juice on and then you're going to put just a couple of teaspoons of oil on top of that And then you're going to literally massage the kale. You take it between your fingers and just squeeze it. Squeeze it. Turn the bowl. Take another bunch. Squeeze it. And you'll be surprised how it changes. The color of it changes. It loses that dusty green and it gets a little darker green. And it will look like it's been cooked. And this is this is an important step. This is not a step that you want to you want to skip here. It will completely change the texture of the dish if you skip this step. But see it doesn't take long to do. And then we're going to put the hot corn right on top of the kale. And what that's going to do is that's going to cook the kale just a little bit too. And that can sit there while we make the dressing. Now we're going to get a little bowl. And for this, I've decided to use the white wine vinegar. It's a little milder, not as sharp as like a red wine vinegar or a balsamic vinegar or even the lemon juice. This is a, this is a milder acid. Get our smoked paprika in there. And the salt and pepper. And you can use a fork or you can use a whisk. I just decided to use the fork because the bowl's a little bit small. And we're going to drizzle in the olive oil.
And you'll pour that right over the corn. And you're going to want to give it a good stir. You want to get everything covered in the dressing and everything evenly distributed. And like I said in the beginning, this is a great recipe. You can have this cold as a salad. You can warm it up and have it as a side dish. I even used some of it and made an omelet with it. It was, it was delicious. I hope you like this recipe and I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next recipe. For more details and a copy of the recipe, check me out on Patreon at Brazingly Bow.